We're here with uh, Jason Weiss to talk about uh, Net Backup and some really cool automation functionality for Net Backup in dynamic VMware environments. And this is going to be uh, on Query Builder. Is that right, Jason? Yeah, that's correct. Thanks, right. Bill. Okay. So, um, Net Backup, we have an exciting feature called VMware Intelligent Policies, uh, specifically the Query Builder. So, if you're familiar with VMware Intelligent Policies, there's two components there's the Query Builder and there's the Resource Limits. Those are coupled together, they work side by side or hand in hand to ensure that the as Bill mentioned, the VMware environment is dynamically protected, automatically discovered, to make sure the right VMs are included or excluded from the right backup uh, jobs. So I've got on the left here, I've got the VMware environment, the vCenter, two ESX servers with a couple different virtual machines. I've got data stores. So there's a number of different uh, data store types that we support with NetBackup. NetBackup and VMware have a deep integration, uh, a close partnership to ensure different capabilities and to ensure that different uh, VMware environments can be protected. So what we're going to talk about is uh, on the right hand side, we've got the NetBackup master server, we've got a media server, this could be multiple media servers, and we've got our disk or DDoP devices or tape, right? Very characteristic of typical customer envir environments like yours that uh, <clears throat> could be single servers, could be multiple servers. So the way uh, VIP, VMware Intelligent Policies Query Builder, is there's a number of different annotations that are uh, pre-populated. So as you choose the, and define a policy of type VMware, then in the Clients tab, there's an option for Query Builder. So uh, there's a number of different annotations. I think there's about 36 to be exact. So it's very easy to implement uh, to protect these VMware assets, virtual machines. And some of these annotations can be defined by host names, could be defined by display names, uh, powered state. So if you wanted to, for example, uh, define a query to show me the VMs that are powered off, in this case, virtual machine one and two are powered off, indicated by red, or are powered on, virtual machines three and four. Uh, so you can have different queries, <coughs> multiple queries. The way the queries work is the net backup server, you provide the credentials to communicate with vCenter, right? So you define those credentials in the NetBack Administration Console. NetBack communicates to vCenter and uh, to determine the query results. vCenter returns the results of those queries and populates the backup selection field. Uh, <clears throat> and you can adjust the threshold when NetBack communicates to vCenter. So if you have a very busy VMware environment, maybe it's uh, you want this communication to happen you know, every eight hours or maybe every you know, single day, uh, you can adjust that threshold. So uh, annotations are, are important. If you're a customer that has a VMware vCloud director environment, <coughs> then there's an option there. This is where our vCloud director support came in is through the VIP query. Uh, so there's a number of different vCloud director specific annotations. <coughs> the, the real result or benefit to you as customers is VIP query builder uh, does automatic discovery, right? So we talked about, you know, you define these queries show me the VMs that are powered on or powered off. Maybe they belong to specific hosts or a specific cluster, right? So it controls the VM sprawl issue. So ensuring that the right VM assets are either backed up or not backed up, included or excluded from the policies. <coughs> so just to recap or to summarize, the VMware Intelligent Policies Query Builder controls the VM sprawl issue, ensures automatic discovery of those VM assets, and there's a number of different annotations that make it possible to ensure the right VM assets are either backed up or uh, not backed up, included or excluded on a per policy, per net backup policy uh, basis. So that is cool, Jason. Uh, there are few words, admins, and big environments like more than automation. And this is a powerful automation feature, so that is great. Yeah, it just, it just continues to exemplify the deep partnership net backup has with VMware to ensure a lot of these capabilities uh, can protect the VMware environment. All right, thank you very much.